Water. Earth. Fire. Air. Ew. What's that smell? Guys, what is that smell? That right there is the smell of spice, boys and girls, because I smell spice in the house. Yo, what's poppin', guys? Today is a special day because I revisited a childhood classic. When I was a little boy, I watched this show called Avatar The Last Airbender. I would go to school with my Capri Sun and my applesauce packets and my raspberry gogurt, and then I would come home and watch some Nickelodeon on my parents' old ugly TV. And when I watched this show, I loved it. But sadly, it's been over 10 years, and I don't really remember remember a single second of the show. So because of that, I knew what I had to do. I want to revisit the show, so I watched it for myself, and I'm in love with it again. And this right here is Appa. Appa is a flying bison, and from the show, flying bison are these animals that you can fly around, and you have to be an airbender to do so. Dang, are you sure you know how to fly this thing? Yeah, Katara, I deliver Uber Eats on Appa all the time. <laughs> This was a really hard project because I've never made an animal before, like ever. So I had to use a lot of reference from various photos I saw online. And most importantly, this little plush toy that Avaki gave me for Christmas. So, oh, how sweet. Make sure you guys go give my boy Avaki some love. And not to mention, he's collaborating with me in today's video because we both made something from Avatar The Last Airbender. He made Omashu. The video drops today. I'll link it down below, so go check it out. He is the broski. And and uh, yeah, he deserves that love. But to build Appa, I had to use a lot of really complicated techniques. Some techniques that really push the limits and are really fragile. I learned a really significant part of any animal is the eyes. I wanted a really specific look for the eyes. So because of that, I actually had to hand paint my own eyes using some basic Walmart acrylic paint. And I also painted the horns because I don't have them in the right color as well as the nose. But anyway, the facial feature of Appa is what I spent an entire day working on and I know the first feature that most people look at when seeing an animal is the face so because of that designing the right looking face was very important I used lots of curved pieces sloped pieces to accomplish the right shape to give Appa sort of the round cute look like he has in the show aside from that it was pretty difficult achieving the other details like the legs for example so to give him a lot of fluffiness I exposed a lot of studs and I even included some of these toothpick pieces which also add to the fluffiness because we like fluffy because fluffy's cute. When Appa's flying, his legs go back. So because of that, I actually have this Technic pin feature that allows the legs to rotate. And then Appa's got the little basket, the little saddle on top, which can seat two people. And Aang has his own little seating spot where he flies Appa on his hump. Now Appa's tail is very long, so to make the tail I used some of these hinge pieces, and one of my favorite parts about Appa personally is his arrow, which starts at the tip of his head and extends all the way to the back of his tail. Now of course we can't forget the minifigures, and these are really spicy. I'm not getting paid to say this at all, but I seriously really like these ones because getting my hands on the original Avatar The Last Airbender figs, they're not cheap. They're very expensive and they're really super rare. I got these fresh, fresh, spicy custom minifigures and I want to give a big thanks to minifigs.me because they actually provided these. Huge thanks to them. If you want to get some really fresh, fresh looking Avatar The Last Airbender minifigs, go check out their site. These ones are really detailed. Anyway, that's it guys. To all my Avatar fans, I sincerely hope you enjoyed this video. This was a huge, huge walk of nostalgia just watching the show. This video in general was a really long work in progress. It started all a month ago when I rewatched everything. Honestly, I don't usually keep my builds together, but I think I will actually keep this build because I'm planning to do more Avatar The Last Airbender mocks in the future. So if you have suggestions, leave your comments below because I love checking the comments. I love talking to you guys. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't because I do all my updates, my special announcements on Instagram. Go check out Rowan. His video is dropping today, and it's a really sick mock. I'm not going to really try to spoil it so much. You're going to want to check this one out. Thank you, Sacred Bricks, for that really, really good fart sound. I love that. I'll see you in the next video, so thanks for watching, and keep on building.